Netflix has come under fire for an advert seen as a prejudice against black natural hair. On its website, the company published an image of a black hair labelled as dry and damaged. While an example of white hair was described as normal, the juxtaposed illustrations have sparked widespread outrage on social media, with the company accused of being racist. The EFF, in reference uh, to its campaign against a retailer H&M, said Clix was applying for consequences. So Clix was uh, quick to apologize, uh, saying it had removed uh, the images and the company was a strong advocate of natural hair. The company has declined an on-camera interview. But let's go here now. On the line with us now, Ndombentle Gwatwane, who is the owner of a natural hair range sold at Clix. And she joins me now. A very good evening to you, Ndombentle. Thanks indeed for your time. So you've had uh, your natural hair care range sold at Clix uh, since 2016, I understand. Let me first get your reaction uh, to this particular debacle. Um, when I first saw the, you know, the emails and the tweets circulating, I, my first reaction was anger, um, devastation, and, you know, I cried. Um, and then I was confused because this is not the clicks I know that I've been dealing with for the past um, four years. So it was very, very confusing to me. Yeah. And I understand you wanted to remove your hair care range uh, from clicks shelves uh, after the uproar started. So, yeah, I got a, a, quite a bit, quite a, quite a high number of, um, you know, DMs from customers demanding that we stop supplying clicks and that we have our products rather available in other retailers. And we discussed it as management and I discussed it with clicks themselves because they were very quick to call me. And it's not something we feel will make um, a difference or make an impact on ending racism in the, in the country. Um, and what was mm. clicks's response? Um, clicks, um, I got a call from management and, you know, we've been having a very good con um, relationship with Clicks for four years. They've supported us so much as a, as a brand. They have the biggest natural hair category in the country. They have, um, you know, events quite often. They're probably the only retailer that has events um, on natural hair, educating people about how to care for their natural hair. They go out of their way to bring in all kinds of um, ranges from all over the world to give South African re uh, customers a range in terms of different types of products they can choose from. So they were also shocked because this is something that they, the commercial side of people, of, of clicks doesn't deal with. It's a marketing um guru that happened here. So they were also trying to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. And it turns out that it was actually third party content that they were flighting on behalf of another customer of theirs. Um, so it wasn't their content that they generated or created. But the fact that it went on is unacceptable. For me, there's just nothing acceptable about the whole thing. It can't happen today in 2020. Such things can't happen. They shouldn't happen. So uh, are you satisfied with their response? So, uh, will you be keeping uh, your uh, uh, product range at clicks? So, I mean, the first thing they asked me is, what can we do? What can we do better? What can we do differently? You know, you're speaking of a, of a, of a retailer that knows that more than 60% of their customers are black females. Mm. And mm. so they need to do better. We need to feel um, better represented. So we're going to be, they've asked me for proposal in terms of solutions, whether we're talking about getting more um, South African owned, black female owned natural hair products on shelves. Um, that's something they, they can look at. Um, we're looking at how they can, you know, make us feel more represented in terms of their own own structures because clearly the reason why something like this will happen is because in their marketing department there is no black person um, so they need to look at things like that but the the solutions and the proposals are things that we're still going to propose to them um, they are having already they already planned this a clicks calls event um, in November yeah. um, which is an event yeah. that all women in the natural category really look forward to so I hope that they do something even bigger I think management should come out and say something this mm. is a very damaging um, thing to happen. It's something that as a black woman, why must I always be wearing some form of armor because I'll be attacked? Mm. I shouldn't be attacked at the school mm. that I go to, sh to buy my hair products at. So I really hope that management comes out and does something and says something. Yeah. Um, 
and really gives back to the community that really does support them. We support them across all categories, not just natural hair. Mm. We are more than 60% of their customer. Yeah. And Dr. Bentley, you, you uh, raise a point there about perhaps there not being any black person within the marketing team. Uh, I mean, this is not the first time that natural hair or black hair is being insulted or policed. I mean, as someone who sells natural uh, hair care products, uh, uh, do you see some of these prejudices in, I guess, in some of these stores or within this particular space where you operate? Priscilla, you look at the space. Tell me how many black women oh you know it's, it's it's a personal care category that we buy and, and 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 you know we keep a lot of the businesses alive whether you're talking about um the unilever brands the l'oreal brands how many of the products on shelves in any retailer are owned by, by black females um not because black females don't want to get into into those kind of categories or businesses but it's just difficult right mm. um and definitely this thing would not have happened if there was um, a black female sitting in front of the computer before they press go live type of a thing. We know that in corporate South Africa, there is a very little representation specifically of black females. Black women are the least represented in management in any aspect except for the bottom part of um, corporate South Africa. So they need to do better because if, you, if your majority retail customer is a black female, then we need to be represented in all ways and all structures in your company. Mm. And do you get to see, I mean, some of these prejudices? I mean, you've been working in this space for quite a while. There aren't many, uh, 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 you know, black women who have these kinds of products uh, that are on the shelves of uh, these uh, so-called big companies. Uh, do you pick that up sometimes as, uh, uh, you, you know, as a woman within that space, a black woman in that space? Sometimes, all of the time, Chriselda. Um, You know, retail... Or- in South Africa is a big boys game. Um, just how things are done, uh, it, it makes it easier for a company that is um, that has a thousand products at a time to make money. It's difficult for a small business to make money on 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 retail on retail floors. I must say though, Clicks has really gone out of its way to help a lot of smaller businesses. I know quite a few small businesses they do they do help like my, myself, yeah. where they've given us yeah. grant funding and all types of um, support. They really do. But in general, every day, whether whether I'm trying to get my products into, you know, the Indian wholesalers, yeah. you know, um, it's hard. As a black female, you can't even take up pick up a call and call those people because they don't speak to women. They don't speak to black women for that matter. Mm-hmm. I get racist reaction mm-hmm. all of the time from all retailers at all levels of South Africa. Mm. It's a daily mm. thing. Mm, I guess uh, this puts a lot into context. Thank you very much indeed for your time. And Don Bentley eh, Katwane, who is the owner of a natural hair care range uh, sold at Clicks. We're speaking to her, of course, uh, amidst this uh, uh, Clicks uh, coming under fire for an advert seen as prejudiced against uh, black uh, hair. They've since apologized and sent out a statement. But uh, once again, they declined uh, to come on to live air with us.